Hey everyone, Joe with G with Touch of the Brush Model Weather Ring, and today is a awesome Saturday because I am on the way to the Northwest Arkansas Model Train Expo, train show, whatever you want to call it, and it's being hosted by the Sugar Creek Model Railroad Club, so uh, it's going to be a great show. Last year there was a huge turnout of folks, and I'm hoping today to see a lot more people showing up this time around because the weather Believe it or not, it's actually really nice out for end of February. It's been fairly mild, and so hopefully everybody could get out this time around. Last time we had a huge snowstorm like two days before, and I mean snowstorm for Arkansas, you know, it's 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 maybe a little bit for us New Yorkers, but you know, living in Arkansas, it was fairly, it was fairly gnarly. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check it out here and see who's around and. Uh, I know we got some NMRA guys going to be there, and so I'm hoping to uh, meet Kent from the Maple Leaf chapter. He is the president of our region from Carthage, Missouri, down through Arkansas. So, hope to get a chance to meet him. And I know my railroad is going to be there, so I'll go say hi to the folks there as well and see what goodies they have because I am excited this year. So uh, stay tuned and let's see what we can find and who we can meet. All right, we're about to pull in here. And it is 10 minutes to opening. So I'm very, very, very early. And the best part is I think I see one of my conductors with me. Oop, I think I'm all blurry here. <laughs> there he is. And look at that, there's a lot of people here. That is him. <laughs> I'm gonna park right next to him. How about that? And yeah, we work together, you know. All right, it's uh, it's fairly quiet at the moment, but man, this is pretty cool though. Last time it was slammed, so hopefully later there'll be some people here and get to have a good time. So let's go check out what's inside.
home from the train show and I'm telling you, it went above and beyond my expectations. There were so many people there, as you can see from the videos. I wish I was able to take more, but I, I spent, I, I told myself two hours because I, I haven't slept yet. I work nights, I haven't slept yet. And, and it starts, the show starts at nine in the morning and now it's past one in the afternoon. <laughs> And so that's just the way it goes. It was really cool to meet a lot of the folks. And that's what's great about these train shows, guys, is that you get to meet folks and it becomes like a family reunion in a way, you know? And so I recommend anybody who hasn't been to a train show, please go to one. Meet people, hang out. I met the historians today. I met folks who own and operate steam, live steam engines. Um, they own their own passenger depots out in Oklahoma. Uh, I met our buddy Kent. Actually, our uh, NMRA chapter president, Kent, today. So I got to meet him in person, hung out with him. Um, I even had people come up to me recognizing my Touch of the Brush Model Weathering logo on my shirt and say, hey, we're friends on Facebook. I know you from TikTok or, you know, I know you from the business itself. And, and, and I actually gained some clients, too, today. So that's pretty, it's really awesome. It's really a productive day in the sense that I was able to meet people reunite with a lot of people I haven't seen in probably a year so I recommend you guys go to a train show and yes it's really cool to go to this one because it's so intimate and everybody pretty much knows each other so yeah it's a big family and uh, yes I may have came I may have I am coming home with a few things that's for sure so I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna show you what I have got from the train show because there's some really cool stuff Okay, to go through a little bit of what I purchased at the train show. Here is a rail stations and trains through Arkansas in the southwest. I was looking for a Frisco book, something on the history of the Frisco Railroad. And I couldn't find one, but I found this one. And this is really nice. This was apparently used, but it had plastic on it. And it's in mint, mint condition. It is beautiful. And so, this is a really, really nice. And actually, I pulled up right to Rogers. This is where one of the rail lines I do work. Um, I do run the train from Springdale, Arkansas, all the way down to Fort Smith. So, this is a really, really neat book. I can't wait to start reading it. Another book that I had purchased for like 15 bucks, And this is just a sleeve. I actually have the book in my grip bag right now. Um, this is the History of the Santa Fe Railroad. And this is a really, really awesome book. I started reading this thing. And it's packed with a lot of info. A lot of, a lot of detail, uh, detailed uh, descriptions and stories and history and this is a nice really beautiful artwork on this okay it's a little used here but again for $15 you really can't beat it and now I officially have the books I want for my Santa Fe collection speaking of Santa Fe here is the uh, super cheap pamphlet this is a really nice shape um, the super cheap it's really I forget what year this is this one is but yeah this is really nice but it shows the different, uh, all the different fleets on the rear end and and over here uh, on the back rather. And then just some really nice artwork for advertisements. Um, this is a Santa Fe 1926 Grand Canyon line timetables and map. It is in beautiful shape too. So I was really happy to pick this up. I mean, look at that. That's really, really nice. And then, last but not least, as far as the uh, memorabilia, this is the Frisco timetable from 1971. And what's great about this, this features the rail line that it actually run on. So, um, I can't find it right here. That, but uh, From Wichita to Arkansas and Ash Grove, St. Louis. So, uh, I mean, it's in beautiful shape. So, this is one of my, some of my favorite purchases here. So as far as model trains are concerned, I picked up these three at the train show. Actually, I picked them up before the train show from one of the vendors who's a good friend of mine. I uh, paid them early, and I picked these up at the train show. And uh, this is a beautiful Athra Ready to Roll articulated auto rack car. And over here, we have two operating series from Scale Trains, Kansas City Southern. I do have a Kansas City Southern SD70 Ace Athra Genesis in my collection, which I haven't able to run on this layout yet. I will get there. I may do a live YouTube video one of these days, maybe a Monday night or a uh, weekend if I have time off the railroad. Um, I want to show some of the stuff off on the collection because I got some news about this layout that's actually, it's, it's good news and bad news at the same time, but it's going to be uh, really, really worth it. 
But here are some of the stuff that I purchased here from the train show. So guys, I really appreciate you watching. I do recommend you guys going back to the show if you guys can make it out that way. Go to a train show, meet folks, make some friends, have a great time. This is Joe G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.